called to the booth. We got some bonus footage for you. Trench talk with Big Wit. Y'all don't want to miss it. Check it out. Paul, drop that beat. If you was to build an O-line, Big Wit, you know what I'm saying? What would your O-line look like? You know what I'm saying? Who has center, guard, guard, tackle? What would your O-line look like? I got to go Lane Johnson at right tackle. Just cause, yes, sir. I mean, you know, there's some other cats out there that I think are playing really well, but for this, for the, I like to go with consistency over time. He you, he you, he you are the right tackles. You know what I'm saying? Lane, Johnson, Lane Johnson's the man. And then uh, I got to go Zach Martin at right guard. I mean, dude's been a baller. Uh, really, really good. Um, inside, that's tough. You know, I, I, you know, I don't know if he'll match up well with all those guys, but Kelsey's just a heck of a player, man, for the Eagles. That dude. Man, his yeah. athleticism, the, the rare things he can do, uh, he can do some things that just other centers can't do. And and you know what? That's uh, that's what makes him really special is his athleticism. And playing with those other big guys, the stuff he doesn't do well would, wouldn't show up because you've got big guards exactly. in there. Because I'm about to give him the other big dog over there too, Quentin Nelson. So uh, yeah. we, we put yeah. him with Zach and Quentin in there. And now you could be light. You could be light at center a little bit. That's you it. know what I'm saying? You could be an the athlete. Hogs next to you. Left tackle. Ooh. It's tough. I mean, you know what? I, I think it's one of those tough things where it's like, you know, what do you want to do? And to me, it's like it's really between at this point in their career for consistency over time. It's between Bakhtiari and Trent Williams. And so to me, you know, if I'm running the football and I'm running screens and I'm getting guys out in space, T. Will is, man, I, I don't I mean, this dude's a human highlight reel of that kind of stuff. Right. So, you know, but if you're just going to drop back and throw it, I mean, David Bakhtiari has been the best in the game at protecting the quarterback for quite some time now. I mean, he's he's unbelievable at it. And so I think it's really between those two. So I think to me, I think, you know what, if it's my offense, we, we running that thing and I got Quentin Nelson there. So it's going T. Will. I'm going Trent Williams and we're going to just destroy folks. You know, we're going to make, we're going to let, Keeb's going to have to tackle. He ain't going to get to cover nobody. You know, he's he going to have to crack hey, her face. Hey, with that line, I'm going to be tackling it all day, bro. I'm, <laughs> I'm going to be tired. I'm going to go, I'm going to go 70%. You know what I'm saying? But them three I miss, them going to be, they going to be out the gate, man. So, hey, that line right there going to get it done for sure. Yeah. We moving, folks. I can guarantee you that. Wait, before, before I let you go, last one here. So, we did the offensive line. Forgot to get to the pass rushers. Do you want to, keep how should how should he construct yeah, do it, do it this? Do it the same way. Line? Do it the same way. Build your okay. line. How your D line to look? Four across. If you ran four three, you need uh, tackle tackle in in. I gotta go four three. Uh, you know what? My two edge rushers. I'm gonna go from the edges first. Yeah. Uh, my two edge guys. I'm gonna say right now. If he's if he's back and healthy, which yeah, this man, this everybody he, healthy. This this them at they yeah, yeah, yeah. If he's back and healthy, uh, you know what? I think this guy's gonna be pretty good as Nick Bosa. I think yeah. this dude can go. And uh, I think Miles Garrett and Nick Bosa are my two edge guys in a four three. If we're talking four three, yeah. getting off the rock, setting the edge, those are two guys that uh, they're giving you a long day for sure. You know, and, and I also think two guys that feed off each other very much and how they play the game. Yeah. Um, I mean, one of them's easy when I move inside because yeah, I don't care what defense we playing. It don't matter. <laughs> hey, he's playing. So. He for sure starts. Hey, you can tell me I get one defensive guy ever. Like, it's just, it, AD it's on probably going to be AD for so, sure. AD on the team. So, I'm going AD there. Man, my my, my shade, though. That one's a little yeah, tougher. Who's going to be this, your shade, this, though? <laughs> who's going to be your big got, dog got, in there? Well, here's the thing though. You you also got to know if you got AD, you know, he, he going he a baller, but he going to take his shots too. So we going to have to be somebody that that's going to be uh, somebody who disciplined. Yeah. Yeah, got to play off of AD play a little bit. They got to play good with AD. Yeah, they got to play good with AD. A counter punch. So man, I don't know. I don't know if I know a good shade right now um that that I like is uh, for him, but I mean, I think you put a guy like a vet like Fletcher Cox that just plays the game with power and and mm -hmm. and the way he gets so much knock him back. I mean, a guy like Fletch, I got to put in there because he's just what he's done over his career. And he's if he's healthy, man, this dude ain't nobody knock people around and just monster dudes like Fletch. Uh, and, I think he Fletch play smart with, too. He he he'll hold his ground and he'll play off AD and you know what I'm saying. He'll be, so good. He'll, he'll be so good. He'll be more than glad to fall into all them sacks. Oh <laughs> man. AD make a move. I'm gonna go get him. 
He'd be well, more than happy to do that. You don't need a guy with AD that's not going to run around like, you know, how he's going to take edges. So exactly. a guy like Fletch, Fletch runs right down the face of people. So right. you know what? He's going to knock people back, and AD going to run them back into him. So they're going to feed off each other so well. I like I mean, it. A guy like Fletch is taller. So I like that's, it. that's where I'm at. So but who we wins? We went all time to my point earlier about the uh, when you're missing two tackles or you're missing, you know, both corners. Uh, my all-time humbling moment in the NFL, uh, I, I feel free to share, is I played in Indianapolis in the old RCA Dome back in the day, back when it was the Peyton Manning show. And uh, we lost Willie Anderson, our future Hall of Famer right tackle, who was a heck of a player in pregame warmups. And uh, I was a rookie getting to play Dwight Freeney in the RCA Dome on Monday Night Football. And uh, I'll never forget coming out the tunnel and our, our O-line coach grabbed me and says, hey, listen, we had to change the game plan up. I'm like, huh? Change what up? He said, uh, <laughs> we had to change the game plan up. <laughs> Big Willie's not playing. <laughs> huh? Okay. He said, so we going we putting in the left guard. He going to go play right tackle. So we got to slide to him all night. I said, do what? <laughs> So I had Franny all night long by myself. <laughs> it didn't go good. Yeah. It was not good. Fate, fate scored the first four times they had the ball, 28 nothing second quarter. I was like, uh-oh. It's going to be one of them nights. <laughs> yeah, now he finna put him in the back. Yeah, he finna pin him in the back and go. Here we oh, go. AD. Was, oh, man. Oh, Franny was an all-timer, man. I do with Hey, that. look, Harrison, my humbling moment came early. Uh, my first game against the Saints. You know, I was going in nickel back, so, you know, early in the game, I go in nickel. Uh, the receiver, he run a corner route, inside release, boom, big corner route. We in cover three. So, Drew Drew stepped up. He let go the corner route into cover three, big wit. So, leave like, oh, no, he didn't. Uh, <laughs> locked in on it, right? Uh, perfect. I'm locked in on it, perfect. I jump and the Drew Brees effect came. Ball just floated and floated, <laughs> floated right over my head. Touchdown. <laughs> in the dome, though, in the Superdome. Oh, the Superdome yeah. Superdome went crazy. I was like in shock, shock. That's the first time I probably ever been like that in my career. Like, oh, shit. Yeah. Like, what just happened to me, bro? I'm telling you, I had to get right, bro. I, that was almost, it was, I had to really lock in. That could have make, that could have made a braid, make, it could have made or broke lead right there, man. I could have been. Yeah. It could have no, been. No it, question. You know what I'm saying? Because my confidence was like, oh shit! Like, I started thinking, all right, I gotta play different. And then right, like, no, nah, you don't gotta just, just play ball, man. He had to shake me back. It's like Thursday next week. I'm starting to. Uh, maybe I'm gonna start at eleven. He like, man, you can't start that damn deep. You know what I'm saying? It's like oh. that play really was on me though. You feel me? Humbling moment right there, man. I had to lock in after that. That's how it was. I, for me, it was that was my probably my tenth game starting as a rookie, and I had ball. I'd been balling, like playing so good. Then you have this moment against an elite, elite guy. Yeah, and it's like you're like, all right, I'm gonna change up how I set. I'm gonna start setting this different way now. Exactly, and I'm like, exactly. Like, change up everything. Down. Like, <laughs> you like calm one down. Play. It's just one of those moments. It's gonna happen. Yeah, so. that's what's up. Hey, that's Big Whit, man, I appreciate it, bro. 